Need some ideas for that ground beef you got in the freezer? Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, sweet friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's video. I put together um, four ground beef dinner or supper ideas that I absolutely love. So I hope you love them too. And it gives you some kind of meal inspiration to cook for your family. I'll have all the recipes linked below for you all to try out for your family. So without further ado, let's get on in to this week's video. Come on, let's go. All right, so we're starting off this week here with a beefy French onion bake or a hamburger French onion bake, whatever you want to call it, but I like beefy French onion bake better. So I have a two pounds of ground beef here. I'm going to go ahead and open up two cans of cream of mushroom soup and then a whole container of the French onions um, dip like chip dip and then you'll also need some egg noodles and seasonings of your choice but that is absolutely all you need for this recipe which that's pretty simple quick and easy right there so to start off with you just want to go ahead and brown both of your pounds of hamburger if you're not wanting to make a big like a deep dish 9 by 13 just used one pound and one can and then half of the carton of the um, french onion dip but we like it beefier so <laughs> that is why i chose to use two of them and it made a huge dish so we ate it a couple of nights so um, here i'm just putting in some badia complete some cavenders black garlic and some pepper i just i'm going to go ahead and brown this on up make sure it's cooked all the way through i drained the grease off of it what little bit there was because i just i used the um lean ground beef and while that's browning that's when you want to go ahead and start your egg noodles they don't take very long to cook i just used two cupfuls and like i said if you're going to cut it in half cut that in half as well so now that that burger is pretty much browned all the way through we're going to go ahead and add in our cream of mushroom soups and um stir that around and then we'll add in the chip dip as well now make sure you get all of that soup out because you're gonna want that that's all kinds of yumminess right there of course so once you stir that through you add in the chip dip like i said before and you just want to make sure that is stirred until well combined and then we'll go ahead and add in our um some french fried onions i did forget that in the beginning didn't i you'll need that to put into the mixture as well as on top so now we're we'll adding in our egg noodles. You'll stir all that all together and let it sit in that pan while you spray your baking dish. And then you just literally dump everything out of that pan into your baking dish. Um, kind of like spread it out evenly that way. I don't know, it looks prettier to me <laughs> and it bakes better too. Then you just top it with French fried onions. You stick it in your oven for 350 minutes degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes until it is golden brown and bubbly and then we just served it up with some green beans right here but that is what we had for supper this night and it's absolutely delicious All right, so supper the next night was a meatball and spinach soup. So I have the original recipe linked down below, but I changed it up a little bit. I'm making meatballs instead of just using the ground beef in the soup and browning it like that. So I just added in to my two pounds of ground beef, some Badia Complete and a Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get that mixed together until it's well combined and then I'm gonna form some little itty bitty meatballs out of it my kids didn't really want soup this night they did try it so I went ahead and patted them out some hamburgers so that they could have that as well you'll see that here in just a few 
um, and we just bake those in the oven that way I can start on the soup mixture so as far as the broth goes for the soup you'll need a 32 ounce container of beef broth or whatever you have if you don't you can use the powdered mix bouillon or whatever you need so I put that in there I put my um, cup of pasta in there and some garlic and we're just gonna stir that together I'm adding in some shiitake mushrooms a little tiny can of tomato sauce I think it was the 8 ounce can and then a 12 or 14 ounce can of the diced tomatoes right there you'll want to stir all that together and let it simmer just to where those noodles can pick up that flavor a little bit and then we're gonna add in a whole 10 ounce bag of baby spinach and basically you just let that cook down and by the time that is like wilted down and simmered for a little bit your meatballs will be ready and then you just add them on in and then it just I don't know it's like a pot full of yumminess so there are those meatballs in the burger patties I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop those off the tray put them right in to that soup and once we have everything in there I'll do let this soup simmer for at least 20 to 30 minutes just so all those flavors can combine together because you're adding in those meatballs later and you want all of that stuff to get happy and yummy together so that's what I'm gonna do here and then when we are serving this um, the only thing I do to serve it you could always have like a crusty French bread or something to go with it if you wanted but only thing I did was just serve it on up in a bowl and then I topped it with some um, parmesan cheese um, I'm sure you could do like croutons or whatever else you wanted to put in there but we just put it cheese on ours and this was so good y'all and it was so filling and it definitely hit the spot because this night was cold and rainy but this was heaven in a bowl <laughs> All right, y'all, so rolling on into the next night, I'm just gonna go ahead and make some hamburger steaks. I do have this fresh ground beef. Um, we just get it from a friend of ours. They have their own like little mini farm. So we buy this straight from them, which it tastes so much better than store-bought. So if you can find you some fresh ground beef, I highly recommend it. So anyways, I have three pounds of ground beef here. We're going to use some Badia Complete first, and then I just, season with my heart y'all <laughs> as Tamara would say I like that line so I might just go ahead and adopt it too so once you have your badia in there I'm just going to go ahead and add in both packs of this Lipton onion soup mix two eggs and then a whole sleeve of saltine crackers kind of sort of like I would make my meatloaf almost but I don't add in like the a1 sauce um, but I do add in some Worcestershire that's just how I've always made my hamburger steaks so here I go I'm just going to go ahead and mixy mixy till everything's well combined and then I'm just gonna go ahead and shape these into like little oblong um, patties you'll see here in just a second that's typically how I do mine I don't know why but I always like that shape for hamburger steaks so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here I'm just gonna go and patty those all up and get those ready to fry in my pan and all you want to do is just make sure you brown them well on both sides this being fresh burger you don't have to cook it um, as much as you would the store-bought because it doesn't have any fillers in it let me just put it that way so it don't take very long to cook this because you don't want it um, getting tough or overcooked so I just brown it on both sides and over there to the other side if you can see I have some whole baby yellow potatoes boiling over there because I am going to make smashed potatoes with dinner tonight so those are always yummy but I'm just going to go ahead and let those cook on down and then we're going to get right on into um draining those potatoes since they boiled i just put them straight onto a buttered piece of parchment paper and then i'm going to take a cannon lid i know it sounds weird <laughs> but it's just a white cannon lid right here a plastic one i brush butter on top of it and then you're just gonna smash those potatoes don't let it slip away from you like it did right there because that I mean that butter it probably could have shot off that board <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and smash them on down and then I'm going to brush those with that butter mixture that you've seen in that bowl previous to this and all it has is a stick of butter some garlic 
and literally that is it so I just melt that on in the microwave and once these are all smashed that's what you brush those potatoes with just make sure you get a good coat of everything on there once you do that that is when you want to season everything with some Badia complete salt pepper anything that you want really you can put on these um, I have made them before where I put like Parmesan cheese on those but with the um, hamburger steaks I decided not to do that so I'll just top these with um, some Badia complete and a little bit of salt and pepper and then they go straight in the oven at 350 for about I don't know 15 to 20 minutes just depending on how crispy you want them at the very end I do turn on the broiler that way they get a little bit more crispier on top that's just how we prefer them but they are so good y'all highly recommend this very simple and easy to make so now <clears throat> these hamburger steaks are done I'm just going to go ahead and take them out of my skillet so I can make some gravy of course with those pan drippings it's the best way to make your gravy I know a lot of people say they have a hard time making it um simple rule is just start with your roux once that gets browned or however you like it mama always taught me to start with a little bit of water to where you can make more of like a gravy paste per se and once you get to this consistency right here that's when you start adding in your milk i am using half and half right here because it needed to be used instead of my other milk but it's low and slow for gravy that way you don't have no clumps or anything like that you just keep adding and then let it simmer so you can see the thickness of it taste it as you go so you can add your seasonings as well because you don't want to over season it at the beginning this by far was probably one of my best gravies that I've made <laughs> so here I am I'm just gonna go ahead and plate this on up and um, this dinner was so good very country cooking if I do say so myself but nevertheless it was delicious and it's another easy way or quicker way to use up some ground beef if you're looking for a tasty recipe i highly recommend this for a sunday supper or something after church on sunday because it is absolutely delicious and i did just heat up a can of green beans to go with it as well you can't beat that um, honestly this was a delicious supper here it is all plated up and so good y'all so so good Alright y'all, so last but not least this week for supper, I made my homemade hamburger helper. I had to say that slow because if not, I get tongue twisted for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, you just start off by browning your ground beef however much you want. But we had, I think, a little over a pound. So maybe like a pound and a half to two pounds. And I just browned that on up in my skillet. Added some tomato paste to it with whatever seasonings that you wanted. And then I stirred in two cups of the macaroni in there I'm gonna add in a beefy onion soup mix and some tomato bouillon um, I'll see if I can link that tomato bouillon below but once you get that all stirred together you'll add in some heaping tablespoons of garlic or however much y'all want y'all know I like my garlic <laughs> stir that together and then add in your beef broth that way you can have um, some liquid in there for your pasta to cook so I just go ahead and stir that in there let it simmer with the lid on for a little while so that pasta can get tender once it does that that's when you add in the Velveeta cheese blocks let that melt get all ooey gooey add you in some heavy cream probably about a half a cup of heavy cream and then stir that on in together let that sit and get happy and then you will add in your final thing of cheese I just have some sharp um, cheddar cheese right here that I had in my freezer so I just went ahead and dumped that on in we'll let that sit and get all thick and creamy together to where it's all happy and then we'll serve it on up but this is by far the best hamburger mac ever so like I said all these recipes will be linked below
So that is gonna finish off this video. I truly hope y'all enjoyed this video and it gave y'all some inspiration of things you can use or make for your family using ground beef. That's how I should have said it. But either way, I hope you found these delicious and I hope you all give them a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. I would absolutely love to have y'all. Until next time, my sweet friends, God bless. Bye. Bye.